second string third fret i'm going to second string open to get the effect in b 3 to 0 and then coming back to 3 3 to 7 so the notes being used here till now are second string open second string third fret and second string seventh fret towards the end i will also tell how we are playing the initial all up if you are staying with 3 7 5 7 remember the number of syllables hit accordingly any extras in the tab add it after you are comfortable with the basic variation here 8 7 8 and 5 are being used I'm going to the first string, third fret, so that I can then continue on the first string. See, I'm finishing here with the middle finger, so that I can do pull off on the ten to eight with the ring and index finger. You need to have that future memory, and we have to plan so that the fingering and phrasing will be efficient. Instead of just playing seven to five slides, I'm also using pull off in between. Similar to before, same notes. It's like cross stitching three, going all the way to twelve and ten. Here, I think she's touching on the immediate next note. You should all up. I will tell you the logic behind that. The notes being used then. You try a little bit after you are comfortable with the original song. See, we are using D, part of song. Same notes like here. Yeah. So that I can play them more comfortably, I'm doing it here. This is one of the songs I used to listen to almost every day when I grew up. I'm playing a little bit from memory, so I have some extras. Actually, in my memory, I'm playing it as. Extras there, you can improvise as you wish. The notes are the same notes as the D major scale. Raga will be a little bit different because of the melodic patterns involved. For a practical musician, it's important to know which fret strings are being used more than the exact name of the raga. We need to know which fret strings definitely not to use. For example, these in between ones, and which ones we need to definitely use. See you in the next videos.